Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a new week, it's a new video. So welcome to all our fave subbies. We love you guys so much. And welcome to all the newbies. We hope you guys love this one. Hey ya. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Our road to 2K is going strong, so please. <laughs> Inning today, just the four lady gals, some wine and some food, and today we will be sipping, chilling, and nibbling. Fine, wait. So what we're doing today is a first impressions video. We're going to be unboxing and tasting this um, these three wines that got sent to us by four cousins, and you get to see. Our first impressions what we all think and feel about it for the first time the first time we all had four cousins was probably in varsity so and the last time yeah 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 first year like yeah in the beginning <laughs> but yeah so this is a bit of a throwback but in the new age <laughs> Okay, so this is the little box that comes in and I think there was a promotion at the time or a while ago for buy two get one free So I mean that's very nice. If it's yeah. nice, I guess go do that I suppose. Yeah, if it's nice. Based it's on that review. This is cute. It's like they even have a little um, Five simple steps to taste wine. Oh. The cultivar, how the wine is made. Fit, fit. <laughs> a flavor guide. Okay. What is a cultivar? Difference between wooded and wooded. Oh, that's, nice. so that's very nice. That's so cute. That's really nice. Well, and yeah. They, yeah, and they have actually a little bit more than the three that we have here. They also have a Sauvignon Blanc and a Pinotage. Oh. Okay, guys, let's get it. Right. 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 Ooh, FC. We should <laughs> actually like rebrand to that. I smell, I smell wine. I smell wine? Mm. Hey, um, okay, I wonder. It smells salty. It smells salty. Very like minerally. Mmm, minerally. I'm struggling. Yeah. I'm not scared to go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm smelling more. I'm smelling like mango. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> Like it has the components of a Chardonnay, mm. like crucial. Yeah, even a taste, lots mm. of Tropica. But I think like a young Chardonnay. Mm. And like, not like wooded intensely so. Not at all. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know, yeah. I don't it know. is a little bit creamy. I'm I not, like but not in the rich, but not in the rich I don't think it's rich, you know like, I think mean? mean, it's actually quite drinkable. Like, easy it's very, drinkable. You know when people say a table wine? Yeah. Like, it's like a house wine almost. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And I think that's a good one. Like yeah. it's quite, like it's yeah. quite easily drinkable. Um, especially like if you're not like a wine foodie. Yeah. But also it's it's light enough. Like unlike other Chinese, it's, it doesn't have a deep buttery thing that goes yeah. on. It's quite like light, but also still got those elements of the Chardonnay. So it's got the things you like. On the Chardonnay. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think mean, for me, it's just more about. Um, I look for those components. Yeah. Where I get yeah. your Chardonnay that you're talking about. Yeah. So for me, I, I wouldn't really like go and buy this. This stuff. reminds me of a Bordeaux, a white Bordeaux, like a soft semi-on kind of taste. Semi-heavy. Yeah, but semi-heavy. Mm. That's what I I'm going to this with. I'm just going to read what they say, right? A medium bodied wine with a fresh grapefruit nose. Oh my God, none of us picked that up. <laughs> and creamy citrus vanilla flavors that linger on the palate. I'll take vanilla. Creamy and vanilla. I'll take vanilla. Perfect to enjoy at Shisa Nyama's. Mm. What does that mean? Bribes, sure. barbecues, or chilling on your own. So, what's a Shisa Nyama's? What's the difference between a Shisa Nyama and a bride? Would you uh, say... A Shisa Nyama's the place. They're locating you very specifically. So, why don't they locate the bride then? But would you ever the bride say. The bride happens in your backyard. Would you ever say, like, a location when you're saying, when you're speaking about, a, like, where wine must be tasted? Would you say, um, perfect restaurant. for a restaurant? No. Yeah. Okay. So just as a PSA, um, 
you know, if you're a brand or whatever, there's no need to distinguish between a brand and a chisanyama. It, 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 no more vibe, you know what I mean? If you're going to target a specific audience, be sure not to be condescending to that audience. Yeah. Let's Moving go. on. Moving, Moving on. Right along. We are not going to move on to tasting the reds, but we're going to do that while we have our Zara. dinner. Zara. So, Zara. Some spag bowl, you know, some basic things for the basic girls. <laughs> Kidding. Nothing time. basic here. That's awful. <laughs> it's child time, and we are going to go pour in. some. Oh, go in so, so. and pour some cab sav. Are there beans in this bitch? No. Olives! Wow. Yeah. Um, olives are a huge concern for me. And, oh, are they? I didn't think so. I thought but it's fine. fine. I thought you had a really much more palate, you know? Oh. I have like, I don't know, I have a very big fear of eating on day. Mm. Why? A very big fear, but I don't know. I just feel like I, I don't eat like kind. Talang my wine! <laughs> Mm. It smells like wine all the time. It smells like something is happening. It's, I smell the berries, yeah. Yeah, the berries are burying. Mm. And the colour's quite cute. It's a nice colour. It's a bit more berry than a normal cab sap. Mm. Tannic. Tannic. Ooh, I was about to say. Tannic in the beginning, but somehow it's like... Tannic in the beginning, but somehow it's like... To me, it's saying it. like... Like, what do you want? Like, I am a cab. Like, I've got yeah, all the things. Yeah. Berries yeah. there. Mm. Tannins are there. More. Like, what is the issue? Kind of. I can I can mess with this. I can mess with this. Yeah, I, I personally could, because I really could hate at a brand. I think also light again for a cab sap. Mm. Which it's, I don't think is bad. It's pairing mm. very well with the food. There you are. Mm. It's really working out. And it's nice to actually have the option of like a lighter cap mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't mm. always want that mm. intensity. So this works quite mm. nicely. Mm. Yeah. And I think like if you're moving from like wines that are like sweet red, this is a good place to go. Um in terms of like getting into the specificities of sure. wine. Um and like the detail kind sure. of thing. Because I think it also it it it, it has the basics okay. of a cap so well. Yeah. yeah. Nice, guys. Mm. It's very nice. nice I can guys. I can one hundred percent fuck with this. Um I don't know if I'm allowed to say fuck anymore mm. because it's not fucking channel. Mm. So she's fuck, like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> but so I think this is a great so this is very different to the Chardonnay for me because I'm getting like once again, like you, you, it's to the, it's, it's to the point. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You are going to understand what a Cabernet Sauvignon is after tasting this. Mm. You're going to be able to so easily identify it after tasting this because mm. that's what it does. It's just like it's just enough. It just says, okay, well, hey, I'm a cap Sam, um, and this is my job, and this is what I do. Um, the end of story. Mm. I would take it to a bride. <laughs> and a shisanyama? I would take it to sh shisanyama as well. Mm. Um, I'll take I'll take it places, and it's a, it's a very easy drink, very light, very great with the meal that we're having yeah. as well, mm. which is a spag bowl. Um, yeah, it definitely um, point to landed. Me. It's brief. Like yeah. It landed. It landed. Tick. Uh, it mm. actually makes you want to drink more of it, mm. Mm. which is obviously rare, I think, for a red wine because red wines are so intense and like, mm. especially cab. I think cab is not trying to be chill. I mean, that's what you guys always say. I think these tannins are also like they tamed, like they together. They put together. It's mm. a badass bitch grape. That's what. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. What did guys, I, what did shout I out to the chef. Oh, no, compliments. Eh, I'm not sure. Me, I'll take you. Shame. Shout out to the chef. With love, I'm to Yes, yes you have two cheers with me. Oh, everyone needs it at this stage of the game. Uh, please, guys. Yes. Please. Love and lights. Wishing you the best. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were I was going to gonna say everyone is ass. in love. That's never, ever happened. No, four out of four. I'm not in love. Oh, whatever, Paxi. You basically have a boyfriend, babe. Mm. So, you, guys, mm. you guys are very like... I'm manifest at all. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Once again, it's always when you're sitting at this table <laughs> that the only thing that I have to say is nothing from my side. <laughs> I, was <thinking> about <laughs> uh, I can't take it anymore. But shut but, up. But, but, but you have to give me anything. Anything. I'll be like, oh, 
Yeah. You can't just arrive. Hey. Yeah. Just do telega. When you ask for my time. Just into a Sunday. Show me. Can you imagine me, guys? I would have never thought I'd say Same. that. Same. But what, two years later? I'm in a relationship. I Same. Know, I've Same. been single for our entire friendship. Yeah. Te mm. Technically. I've been single for our entire friendship too. Mm. There was a short step of you getting engaged. Three weeks. Getting engaged. Guys, can I let you know that streams in this friendship group, okay? You meet a guy on a Sunday. And on Monday he's your boyfriend. Mm. That's how it by, works. If by Wednesday he hasn't said I love you, then you need to say, Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming to the party, but now your entrance has expired. Yeah. So you need to leave. I don't room. know. Everything if by Sunday I haven't proposed marriage, seven days after meeting you. <coughs> why are we here? Yeah. The girls are fly, the girls are busy. Okay, the DMs are busy. I can't <laughs> remember the last time someone sent me a DM. Sure. Besides wine is social. Oh, when you were the lady in white, nobody just said, oh, love No one, because I, because I was the lady in white. Because I was the lady in white. But he said, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Let down your hair. Kelly, just, just, can you yeah. handle this? Yeah, Michelle, can you handle this? Okay, Beyonce, Beyonce. can you handle this? I don't think you can handle this. Woo! The cab serve, um, this wine has rich chocolate and mocha toastiness on the nose with a ripe black currant palette. Mm. On the money. Mm. I agree. Anyway y'all, um, yeah, so now it's time for that. Mellow. 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 What do you guys, what do you guys smell taste? Mm. It's not mellow to me. It's not mellow at all. What does it eat? It's sweeter, of sweet. yeah. It's, it's mm. a bit sweeter. Sweet, very fruity. Mm. I hate to say it, but it's closer to a capsule than a mm. Me too. Yeah. But it's easy drinking. It is. It's quite sweet. But also, once again, sweet here is not defined like the sweet you'd imagine. So it's not like yeah. it's not like Sugar. for cousins is like sweet red. No. Mm. When we say it's sweet, we mean it just has like sweet characteristics. It has fruity tones. It has, you know, it's not so acidic. And like the tannins are very like. They, they, they. And but also, so sweetness is defined, I think. But not also, as it probably has literally a lot more sugar yes. than you know the wines that we yeah. like drink more often. Mm. I would imagine. So there's, there's no way. Yeah. I'm not finding that because there's also not there's not there's an acidity, but there isn't a dryness. Yeah. 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 So the Muller's description is: this wine has gentle berry and vanilla toastiness on the nose, with a typical Merlot mulberry and summer fruit palette. I'll take okay. Mulberry. I'll take uh, salmon fruit. fruit. I'll take Mulberry. I'll, I'll take, take Mulberry and don't everything. Our cab staff definitely wins this round. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you handle this chair? <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> is cab staff. Kelly is below. And Michelle is the Chardonnay. Totally agreed. Okay, so what's your overall impression of like, the connection, friends? First one. I think it is a very honest attempt at something new. Mm. Overall, good job. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah, this is definitely a wine that people can enjoy, go buy, and try. I guess, and also learn more about wine. I think I like the fact that it's it feels a lot more introductory to wine mm. than they're like the wines we traditionally know to come mm. from this brand. I do. I do. Um, so I think it's 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 literally like a step into wine rather than people just enjoying and getting drunk. It's it's just it's teaching you it's introducing you it's it's also like it's like prepping your palate yeah. to move into the range of wines in the world mm -hmm. i think especially from that that transition from the sweet reds and the sweet whites to this mm -hmm. i think it's mm -hmm. not too far off mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i think they took specific care to like make sure that the characteristics in each wine are very present mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you can pick up that that it's a shard that mm -hmm. it's a cab sab, that mm -hmm. it's a moto which is amazing um, and so maybe yeah. that was actually just the goal. Yeah. yeah. Clarity yeah. is clarity. clarity. And if so, like 10 out of 10, job all done. Yeah. Definitely. Like, absolutely. And it makes so much sense going with the pamphlet where they break everything down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this has been fantastic, guys. Um, I've had a good time. Have you guys had a good time? Yeah. And we enjoyed your food chat. Thank, Thank you. Really. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> And let us know what you thought about this video and our first impressions. Mm -hmm. And if you've tasted this thing, and are you guys gonna go buy?
Well, let us know. Yeah, let give us it know. a try, guys. Like, let if you want to weigh in, give it a try. Yeah. But it's all love from the four of us, from yours and mine. Love y'all. Cheers.